Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Battle 101. I'm with Judd and he's with Isma. Yeah. yeah, as always, I'm the noob, he's the expert. I literally suck at PvP, but I want to be better at it. Yes, and since we are tri we are helping Judd to be better, if you watched the last episode, we helped him create his team. Now, we're gonna train, trade, trade? Gonna train. <laughs> we're gonna train him very hard. Right now, we are practicing for Kingdom Cup. Holy fish, two Alterius, one is shiny, one is not. If this happens to you, you should report it. He blocked it. Of course, I'm going to block that. What's what's Alteria's counter again? Here you go. <laughs> okay. That's a good move. You you switched out your your Alteria when it got a charge move. Piesh. Here's the reason why you shouldn't go. Because <laughs> if I do this, you don't have a second charge move on this? No, I do, I do. Why are you using Dragon Quest? Mm -hmm. Crap, crap. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose this. Because <laughs> I have Bastion. Oh man, 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 I... It's a good, good, good move that I yeah. put Lucario last. Yeah. For this, what did we learn with that match? Um, use don't use every shield. <laughs> yeah, you don't use every shield, and not 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 because you already. It's not when you don't have a shield advantage anymore. It doesn't mean you can you can you already use because rematch. you can see. Okay, let's let's change it up. All right, let's let's do this. I hope I chose the the right ones. Here we go. <laughs> Sagging again? No. Sagging again. <laughs> That's super effective. Oh. 
Hã? Uf, yikes. Oh yeah, I still have this. Holy fish. <laughs> Ooh, foo -foo. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what did we learn? With don't that? use your shield. <laughs> You already know Flygon's moves because you already <laughs> basically use Flygon on me on Ultra League. If you know that I don't have any move against you, if you know that you already charge, I, ch I charge quickly. You know it's Dragon Kill, so you'll resist it. You should have kept at least a shield if you already knew. Alright, you good? Um. <laughs> but I thought I would go for another one. <laughs> I don't know why. I keep forgetting that I should not use the shield, but I, I keep pressing the shield button for some reason. Oh fudge! Press the wrong Pokemon. To be fair, you have to shield that. Mm -hmm. Oh, fish. Shield this. Yeesh. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Fudge. You have Lokar. If you have Lokar, you're in the set. Oh, thank you. Thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fish! It's not very effective! Because of this, I can do this. And I can do this. <laughs> You have Locario then. Oh, Mel Metal. That's I nice. didn't I didn't have That's this. nice. <laughs> that is very nice. I didn't know you would use a Locario, you stupid fish! That no! Is very nice. I actually have two choices. I can either um use flash cannon on my not very prepared um, Bastiodon. It can beat Lapras that way. Mm -hmm. But I can also use your Lapras as a way to pummel my Lucario to power. Yeah, right. but uh, I didn't have. You said you should have used. I thought you were gonna use. The, I didn't have Lucario. That's the, the, that was the problem. Yeah, you, you, it's very hard to find a way to use Lucario. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, let's go to the more on the reaction part on your end. Mm -hmm. Um, which Pokemon did you have a very hard time using? I kept using Charizard and Altaria because they yeah. they both have Dragon Claw. They're very fast to charge, so that was nice. Uh, but Lohari. the problem is with that is it has always have been my problem. I always forget what they're weak to, what they're super what they're super effective against. That's why. I just keep using the shield this is because I, I don't remember if if this would do super effective damage on me or uh, if it's not very effective like uh, I used the ice beam on Bastiodon I thought you have surf? I, 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 I don't know do you have surf? <laughs> I, I, I don't if you have surf then you should have used mm. surf um, I yeah. think you don't have one I don't, I don't think so though so ice beam you're just stuck with ice beam with that mm -hmm. so you 
So one thing you have to do is add surf mm -hmm. to your Lapras. So that's why, like, like, plus that, like, I forgot earlier that uh, I should, I shouldn't have used ice beam. I should have used a water type move, but uh, I didn't have a second the charge move. So Lap I had a problem with that. If Lap if I had a water type move, I could have. Yeah. I could have uh, defeated your Bastiodon, yes? The problem is with water types, they are not the best counters to Bastiodon because most of the water types that are, that are available on um, the Kingdom Cup, except for Empoleon, mm -hmm. most of them are weak to rock. Mm -hmm. so, so my Smackdown will still do... So I should have, I really should have had a Lucario at that, at that moment. Um, at that moment, maybe you could have won with, if you had Surf. If, with Bastiodon. You, you could have fared better. <laughs> you, I don't. I think you, you, sh you wouldn't have won per se, but I think you would have fared better with a surf lapras. Uh, don't change the ice beam. Ice beam is still great against that uh, Altaria. Plus, it's a legacy move, so yeah. you really should not change it. Yeah. Um, plus, another thing I noticed is that you shielded Lucario <laughs> on the first hit. You should not do that unless you feel certain that. Lucario is using Shadow Ball. If Lucario used a charge move quickly, very fast, it's Para Punch. And Para Punch is as a move itself, it's not that powerful. Plus it's Alteria, so it would resist it. I actually remember, but I'm I'm not sure if it does resist it or not. Is it neutral? Is it super effective? Is it not very effective? I'm not sure. I actually I, I I remember what that yeah I know this is weak to this but how how big of a damage would this do to this Pokemon? Yeah. That is what I am having trouble with. Okay, now let's look at all the moves that you've shielded or not shielded. <laughs> um, first, Para Punch. Para Punch uh, is not that strong. Okay, so you should not move. so you should not shield yeah. it. You should okay. not shield it because not only is it very weak. Mm -hmm. Even if you shield it, it would still do its effect. Mm -hmm. So shield or not, it will have a boosted attack. So you're basically giving a shield away mm -hmm. with that. So uh, I should not uh, should not shield power up punch. Yeah. Second one, you keep using Dragon Pulse for some reason. <laughs> sky at you should go for Sky Attack always. If you're not sure, Sky Attack. Mm, because I uh, I thought Dragon moves equals. Uh, bigger damage. No, because Sky Attack has better da energy per damage ratio. Mm -hmm. So if you keep spamming Sky Attack rather than spamming Dragon Pulse, you would have a better overall damage output. So Sky Attack I did not know that. Sky that Attack I did is not better know. against anything. On Melmetal, a good example is Melmetal. If you use Sky Attack on Melmetal, even if it resists, it will still do damage. Mm -hmm. It will still do a lot of damage. Um, the Dragon Claw one. <laughs> yeah, should I spam Dragon yeah. Claw or uh, Blast Burn? Or it depends. No, I mean the fly, my Flygon, the Dragon Claw one. Mm. Um, if you just big, you are very lucky that I haven't changed Stone Edge to Earthquake yet because I am planning to do that soon. Mm -hmm. But against Bell Metal, if you think that if you experience a Flygon that charges very fast, mm -hmm. you should not shield the Dragon Claw because as much as it is very tempting because it's a charge move, you shouldn't because it's even Melmetal still resists it. Um, you should um, shield at least if Flygon has three, has done three um, Dragon Claws. I think that's about it. Um, overall, your team, the the Pokemon that you've been using, are very solid. Mm -hmm. I, you, I, I, I just need to practice using this Pokemon more. Yeah. yeah. How much of the Pokemon have you haven't used? It? Yeah. I actually didn't use Marowak for that for yeah. that match. Marowak is good against um Bas Lucario, uh, okay. against Charizard, um, against the Metal, actually. If it has, um, it against Basidon. If if the Basidon, if you can shield or two, you can do. It. I actually even if you don't shield, you don't have to shield. Because All right. Mar also, unless you have a charge move up, don't shield when your HP is low. I think you you already know that. Mm -hmm. 
um, that's about it. That's so we're talking. This video we're just talking about the basics yeah, of yeah, PvP. Yeah, but uh, so this is more of a noob talk. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm basically the noob. Regarding the trading, what did you find? What did you learn about the trading itself? Um, yeah, that I should practice with these Pokemon. They're they're good Pokemon, but uh, I need to strategize on what goes first, uh, which. Which you one? actually have the first Pokemon unlock. Mm -hmm. Actually, Charizard is an okay lead. Mm -hmm. You're just unlucky that I've been using Altaria. Mm -hmm. But Charizard is also a good lead, especially since some people lead with Lucario. Yeah, yeah, that's that's actually why I like leading with Charizard. Charizard. So I'm not faulting you on using it as a lead. So mm -hmm. I, it's actually just unlo unlucky for me. Anyway, uh, that has been it. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful with your training for the Kingdom Cup. Yeah, remember, we have a uh, Sylph Arena tournament this community day here at Quezon City. Watch, watch out for that. If you want to join, just go to uh, QMC Park by 12 o'clock p.m. It's before community day, so we have nothing to worry about. So Yeah, and after that, we can go community day together. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll just see you on the next video. And class dismissed. <laughs>